Hello, I'm Rohini Krishnamurthy. I'm a senior reporter at Down to Earth. I cover science, technology and climate change. The monsoon arrived in Kerala on 8th of June 2023, eight days later than expected. Cyclone Vipojoy, which developed over the Arabian Sea on June 7th, has influenced the progress. This is because westerly winds, which pull the monsoon towards the Indian mainland, are weak now. All the moisture is rotating around the cyclone, according to Mahesh Palawat, Vice President of Meteorology and Climate Change at SkyMed Weather Services Private Limited. Rainfall will be weak over peninsular India and several parts of the country as a result of this. When the onset of cyclones and monsoons coincide, they impact each other. A cyclone cannot form if we have a strong monsoon, according to Roxy Matthew Cole, a climate scientist at the Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology. If the southwest monsoon current is strong, winds blow in two directions, southwest in lower levels and northeast in upper levels of the atmosphere. This prevents the cyclone from rising vertically, hindering its formation. This time the monsoon is weak, allowing the cyclone to develop vertically as it can cut through the winds and move upwards. While the reason for the weak monsoon could be the El Nino, it cannot be cited as a deciding factor. El Nino is the warm phase of a recurring climate pattern across the tropical Pacific. Indian Ocean warming due to climate change could also be playing a role. As for the cyclone, if it is moving away from the mainland, it drives the moisture away. But if it is progressing towards the coast, it could enhance the monsoon. The progression of the monsoon this year could be weak till the cyclone fades away. This is because it is driving the monsoon winds towards Pakistan. It could get stronger thereafter. For instance, Cyclone Nisarga helped the progression of the monsoon since it moved towards the coast. However, not all experts agree with this view. Akshay Deoras, a research scientist at the National Centre for Atmospheric Science and the Department of Meteorology, University of Reading, disagrees since the IMD has predicted that the monsoon will advance towards Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and the northeastern states in the next couple of days. So this cyclone actually helped the monsoon to reach Kerala. That is quite clear. And then if you just look at the track of the cyclone, so it's not very close to the coast. It's kind of between, I would say, like mostly close to the central Arabian Sea. So it's, it's progressing to the north, not exactly north, but somewhat to the north. And then as it's doing, the monsoon winds are still active over the west coast, like Kerala is still getting rain. And the northward progression of the monsoon, that is also happening along the coast. So the whole hypothesis or theory that the cyclone is driving the moisture away and is kind of delaying the further progression, I don't think it's correct. Because if it would have been correct, then we would have seen a stalled monsoon over Kerala. But whatever forecast and even the IMD's guidance is saying that the monsoon is expected to progress further into coastal Karnataka, I think, in the next day or two. La Nina persisted for three years before ending in 2023. NOAA announced that El Nino has arrived on June 8, 2023. To know more about the latest developments in science, technology and climate change, head to the Down to Earth channel linked in the description.